Welcome to this first overview of the new SAP Lumira 2.0 data analytics product. My name is Ivor van der Zand, SAP Analytics. And on the screen you see the welcome screen uh, of the Lumira discovery component. Um, one screen tile based with everything you need together and uh, grouped in a very nice way. On my left top left hand side I have all the data sources and very remarkable, uh, we have now in Lumira 2.0 both live as offline connections to SAP BW. The same goes live and offline connections to SAP HANA. There's connect connectivity to universes, uh, Microsoft uh, SQL, CSV and text connections and um, query with SQL um, refers to a variety of data source connections on SQL based. Uh, if I click the show all, you can see all the connections over here. Uh, there's also support for all the extensions that were uh, supported also in the past with the Lumira 1.25 and higher versions. And if I go back on my right hand side, uh, you can see all the most recent used connections that I uh, used working with this tool. As said, this is a pre-release, a beta version. The GA version is expected for July uh, 2017. In the middle of your screen, you see all my most recently used documents. And on below, you see a number of sample documents that come with the product. Tapping on the top left hand side, I have my home screen. I have my uh, file menu where I can save, uh, publish, import from uh, previous versions. There is full support for all the previous versions of Lumira. In my preference menu, I can set up all my preferences as you also seen in the past with, uh, with some small new additions that I will discuss later on. If I take the query to SQL option over here, you see uh, all the drivers that are uh, automatically installed. You can install new drivers, but there is Salesforce connectivity, Hadoop, Cloudera, Impala, Amazon, as you can see uh, a whole variety as you were used in the past. Creating a story works um, in the same simple way as we were all used to. So there's a four step approach. You connect or acquire data. The second step is you enrich or prepare data. The third step is that you visualize and create your storyboard. And the last step is that you share or you start up the interoperability with the designer module to create an enterprise dashboard. So let's start creating a storyboard together. I'm going to use a very simple file with some financial data that I can simply click and uh, bring into my application by loading it. And on your left hand side, you see the different metrics that are part of my file. And on the lower hand side, you see an overview of all the elements that are embedded. As you can see, I still have my data view, so I can click the data view, which allows me to have a look at my data in a listed or a faceted view, as you can see over here. And right click gives me the correlation of a individual element to where it occurs in all the different tables. So there's already a lot of metadata that comes uh, as part of your first acquisition of data. I go back to my design view and on top you can see that I can, uh, as usual, append more data sets. I can merge uh, various data sets, but I can also, as you can see on the right hand side, link or blend data sets if you want to combine data of uh, different grains. As said, the first type is acquiring data, which I just have done. Uh, and the second step is enriching data. As you can see, I have a whole variety of options. For example, over here, I have my date, which I can convert to uh, automatically to a date matrix, for example. And the moment that it is a date, I can make a automated hierarchy of it. You will notice that everything within uh, Lumira 2.0 is right hand clickable, so context sensitive, and you see me now creating automatically a time hierarchy. I can do the same, for example, for my longitude and latitude, and now right clicking on city, I can 
create a hierarchy based, based on geo, for example, by Longlet, also by name. But let me use in this example Longlet based on the city level. And I pick up my latitude, numeric and longitude, numeric, and choose as level the city. I go next and finish. And over here, I have now a complete hierarchy for the city, which rolls up to sub-region, region and country. The same as you are used to, I can also right click my different measures, change the aggregation levels, for example, my forecast accuracy, uh, that is in percentage number, so I want to have that as an average. A third enrichment could be to make a little hierarchy on my PNL PL lines. I create a custom hierarchy saying PNL is my top level, which next level is uh, PNL group, and I double click PNL elements, and I now have this hierarchy on PNL. A last example that I'd like to show you is that I also on my measure level can create calculations. For example, I could create calculation, give it a name demo test, and say, well, this should be budget minus, for example, take the uh, example of revenue, demo test, act budget. Okay, that. And over here, I have done now a few steps of very simple customization. Yeah, again, I can go to my data view if I want to check the data or do other things with it. If I right click every column, I get a context menu where I can do an, a whole variety of data enrichments and data quality elements, groupings, uh, splitting, filling, replacing elements, all kinds of things that you were used to also in the previous version of Lumira. Inserting a chart is as simple as it can be. I insert a chart which gives me the option to choose from a whole variety. So columns and bars, waterfalls, marimekos. Over here you see the line and the stacked areas, the pies and the donuts, scatters and bubbles, heat and tree maps, cross tabs now also with support for drill down. Numeric points, if you want to make key metrics, of course, geospatial, the time series, if you want to do trend analysis, and then the others, we see again, a whole variety, tech clouds, box plots, a whole variety of, um, of, of other charts. The extensions that were supported in the past will also be supported in Lumira 2.0. So let me uh, start some numeric points and um, bring together some of my key metrics. So I drag my revenue over here. I can right click, I can change that design, for example, saying, well, I want to have a look at the, the, uh, the values over here and make them in a uh, other color. For example, in, uh, I want to make them all purple and uh, change the font type. And as you can see, now, one of the things I really like is that I now can right click this first graph, copy it, and I can paste it next to each other. So it does respect the formatting that you have done. Paste it again. And what I now will do is simply quickly change the metrics that are in there. So uh, the second one, I'm going to put my budget in there, make that small again. And the third one over there, I'm going to put my forecast there, make that small again. So this really helps in the design. The formatting options are now embedded. Next, I'm going to bring in a, a simple line chart. So I'll choose line and as you can see one of the things I really like is that you now exactly can place a graph or a vis visualization at very fine detail uh, it is close to pixel perfect so what I do is that I just drag and drop my revenue and my budgets in here and I'll choose to do that for example by the month One of the things, if I go to the design module, one of the things I like is that you now can have these very smooth uh, graph types. So if I tick the enable smooth line, 
you see that I now have a very uh, smooth line that I can bring into my graph. Secondly, I uh, add another graph. So let's bring in a cross step that I bring over here just to show you the drill functionality in a cross step. So I choose to uh, have PNL hierarchy over here. And as metrics, I choose to have my budget. Let me do that in this way. That's easier for you to see. So uh, I'm going to bring in budget, forecast, forecast accuracy, and the deltas columns. I'm going to bring in the countries. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, now I can right click and say I want to drill down. Yeah, or I can drill up and give you this element over here. So I'm going to put it like this in my graph. Over here you go. Make it a bit smaller. And I will put my last graph over here, which will be a, um, well, let's, uh, let's take a very simple column over here. And again, to show you how things work, I choose to have my forecast accuracy uh, which is a percentage together with my forecast and i'd like to see that by country and you will see that doesn't make very sense because i have an absolute number and a um, accuracy number so if i now go over here and uh, choose the maximize button to go into more detail, what I now can do is I can right click my accuracy and say, well, I want to assign this to another X secondary X axis yeah, so that it makes more sense. So this is how you simply create your first dashboard. Yeah, give it a name. I give this a name storyboard and I call this demo L20, Lumira 20. And let's save this. As you can see over here, I can, of course, uh, make as much taps as I want into one story. I can rename. I can also very uh, strong now duplicate a certain story. I can uh, change the orders, uh, set up the settings, also the views, uh, all those elements. But again, I will show you that in a later moment. As a last element, I show you the functionality of the filter. So what you do is um, I'm going to add a filter and say, well, let's uh, have a look at that by year. And I can um, make complex filters. So I will uh, now first select uh, all years, but I can choose varieties, betweens, not betweens, all those elements over here. So my filter now will appear on the top of my, um, of my analysis. But what I can do is I can drag and drop it into my story. And the moment that I do that, I can choose the type of control. So I can choose a slider, a, um, a choice or a drop down. Let me choose this drop down over here. And now this appears in this way on my screen. If I go to preview mode, you will now see how I very easily created this little dashboard. And if I exclude 2013 or 2011, you will see all the elements changing as you are used. So this is Lumira 2.0 in a very short and uh, simple overview. I'm very excited about the product. There is so much functionality in here that, uh, that makes life easy. And I think SAP did a very, very nice job with this new element.